Caesar, eat your food. Dad, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just, okay, just, you know, it's, well, it's not obvious. Okay, that's I'm done. Car. I'm done. The police can no, handle no, this. No, no, there's, there's nobody here. You just stay right there. You are going nowhere. You or your son are going to pay for my I'm not going to. This is your problem. You make the mess. What are you going to do with you? I'm not going to. Just stay right there. <laughs> So we are here with James Franco, the star of The Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Thank you so much for being here. Of course. Yes. So when walk me through it. Right when you got the script and you read what type of role you were given, what were you thinking? What were your initial thoughts? Um, my initial thoughts mm -hmm. were, well, before I read the script, I thought, hmm, another Planet of the Apes movie. I'm not sure if there's anywhere new to go with those movies. Mm -hmm. I mean, I liked the originals, but... They really, you know, exhausted a lot of the possibilities. Yeah. But then I realized that this movie had a completely new take, that they were going to not only create the apes in a much more realistic way through mm -hmm. computer, you know, generated graphics, but yeah. that the whole storyline was much more grounded. It takes place in the world that we recognize and um, in the way that the apes become more intelligent is, yeah. is, is done in a, you know, fairly plausible way, mm -hmm. you know? So it doesn't take huge leaps of the imagination to kind of buy into this story. Mm -hmm. uh, so I thought that was great. I thought it was a fresh take. But uh, in addition to that, I thought the actual acting experience uh, will be will be completely new. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe 10 years ago, I'd think, oh, all this CG work, I. I, I, I would want to run away from that, but <laughs> technology has advanced so yeah. so far that it actually enables me to act opposite Andy Serkis, who plays Caesar, the the, yeah. the chimpanzee, uh, in in scenes as if he were, you know, just just like I was used to doing in acting class, you know, just was that opposite weird another for you? actor. Was that weird? Because he's right beside you, and he's you know being a primate, oh. and you're having to no. Uh, 
it wasn't weird at all, actually. Yeah. He's so good at uh, this kind of thing and, and capturing chimp behavior that uh, really my imagination, you know, my actor's imagination could take over. And just like, you know, in a, in a scene where I'm acting opposite a, a human who's playing, you know, uh, my sister, mm -hmm. who's, you know, and obviously the actress is not my real sister, but mm -hmm. I can buy into it because the, ima the imaginary circumstance is going to take over. Yeah. Uh, it, was the, it was the same way with Andy. He was so good at that chimpanzee behavior that I could really kind of buy into it and, and interact with him as if he were a real chimpanzee. Okay. Come on. He hasn't spent any time with other chimps. Oh, we're used to that. He'll be a little skittish at first, but we'll integrate him. You'll probably miss him more than he'll miss you. You'll be surprised how quickly they adapt. We provide a stimulating environment. He's going to thrive here. It's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna stay here now. No. We're not going home right now. In our experience, the longer you drag out the goodbyes, the harder it is. Now, I have to ask you the question. So you did your role with Frito Pinto. How was that on set? Fun for you? Oh, it was so hot. I mean, gosh, we burned that set down. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it was nice for you. Well, thank you so much <laughs> right. for doing this interview with us. It was a pleasure, okay? Thank you. Yes. All right. <laughs>